Fina Loves is Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News. So a few days ago, Nene Leak, Cynthia Bailey, and Marlo were all were all on Instagram live together. Um, they're not really talking about much on the live. They're just coming back to the ATL from whatever trip you know they had going on. So I'm going to go ahead and include the live. But before I get into the live, I just wanted to include other quick stories and cover you know whatever else they have going on um within the franchise and all of that so she posted this picture right here with greg and her caption scattered smothered and covered um hashtag waffle house okay and so most of you are aware um, what happened at Waffle House. You know, the African-American young lady that was, you know, dragged and beat up. And then the shooting, you know, that happened. And then, you know, it's just been a lot of stuff um, going on at Waffle House as far as discrimination against, you know, African-Americans and things like that. So um, this person, and you know, Nini and um, Greg, you know, said that, well, she said that he was, you know, getting on a vegan diet to help, you know, with his cancer and all of that. So I feel sad. I told you we were supporting our sister that was abused at one of these chains. I will continue to book her, okay? Can't believe black folks still go to Waffle House. Uh, guys, she's a caregiver to someone very ill and just trying to feed her family all while providing the income. Greg probably doesn't have an appetite half the time with his treatments. That being so horrible, clearly you haven't had to take care of someone owl and close to you. Just don't judge. This person responded, um, there's a bug had against the Waffle House happening because of several incidents involving black people being attacked and arrested in their stores. The company has stood by their employees who caused the problems to begin with. It's a violation of these individual individuals human rights people especially black folks need to stay out of a waffle house it's almost like what just happened in brooklyn was it brooklyn or the bronx the nail salon where you know they in like an african-american family a black family were beat up with rods and sticks all because of five dollars but this is the one from the the nail salon here look at look at that look at that look 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 wow wow Wow. Went in, um, got her nails done, and got her toes done, and, and other things done, and paid for that. But she did not like the way her eyebrows came out. Um, and for $5, instead of, the, instead of the facility saying, you know what, okay, we get it. We're going to give you a discount, or we're going to fix it. They beat them up with rods. And now, but my point is, it's almost like watching a video like that, and then a black woman walking into that nail salon and get her nails done. Okay, so I completely understand um, where people are coming from um, as far as Nene going to Waffle House. This is the young lady here that was exposed by the white cops. Look, look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm so disgusted right now. These awful people lost their jobs from their racism within days. Your move. Awful house. House. Do you all think the name and other celebrities gave a bleep about how the Waffle House treat us regular folks as long as it's not her son? It doesn't matter. And after seeing all of these comments, I'm actually surprised that picture is still up on Nene Dating Block. Um, yeah, I, I get it. I get it that Greg is sick. And, you know... I get it. I get it. He's sick. And if, if he's craving Waffle House as his wife, Nene is going to go to the Waffle House, you know, because her husband comes first. But wow, to post about it. Um, shaking my head. Can't seem to stick together. That's why we're continuously disrespected. This post is disrespectful to us smiling in the place of abuse. It's like taking a picture on a slavery plantation and smiling. Ooh, a classic case of financing your own oppression. Mm. So at the end of the day, as you can see, I can go on and on and on, but you read, you read the comments and you can see a lot of people are not happy um, that they're over there at the Waffle House. Um, 
So I'm aware that this is not the best transition to go from talking about such a serious topic straight into an Instagram live of Nini, Milo, and Cynthia Bailey just walking around the airport and having a conversation. But most of the time when Nini don't post pictures with Greg, um, especially now that he's sick, people just go into this mindset of, oh my God, I hope he's okay. I hope it's not too bad to the point where, you know, Nini don't want to scare people by posting his picture and all of that, you know, because you can always tell with the physical appearance. So this was just an update of Nini saying you know what Greg is doing well enough to leave the house get in the car drive and go outside so you know although her place of choice wasn't the best um at least you know he's still well enough to do that so I'm gonna keep him lifted in my prayers and wishing him the best and now this is fully your choice to watch this old Instagram live or not it was filmed a few days ago but I had other things going on and so that's why I'm uploading it now you can watch it or you can choose not to but yeah let's go ahead and get into the Instagram live
so many bags, I've never seen anything like that.
Let's see what happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not sketchy, honey. She's so damn crazy. Hampton. Hampton. Uh, no, let me We'll have to get back with y'all in a minute. Coming to Atlanta, when you get to the airport and get on the train to get the baggage claim, there's this little um, like flat screen on the top that basically have like top people in Atlanta basically welcoming you to Atlanta. So you have the mayor, her picture, you know, it's going to flash. Then I think because Ludacris and other people had that song, Welcome to Atlanta, and all of that. And Ludacris also have a restaurant in the airport. I think I saw his face flash one time. And a few other people. So that's what Nene and the girls were talking about. Basically saying the show been on for a long time. You know, why their picture's not up there. And when people come to visit, you know, Atlanta, they, you know, are going to sightsee, uh, you know, their homes. And basically going to their businesses and things like that. That's basically she's saying that they the real house of atlanta have been on for a long time and that she also flashed on that screen <laughs> it's no big deal but i'm only bringing that up because um if you're thinking they were leaving they were actually coming and you also hear nene say that uh she can't wait to get home to her husband so so yeah but as far as that um let me know about the whole Waffle House situation. How do you feel about that? Even though the Waffle House Nene went to, it's not the Waffle House that, you know, did anything bad. The people there at that Waffle House might be very respectful and all of that. So, and also to Nene husband is, you know, going through the whole cancer situation. So if he wakes up and say, I want Waffle House, do you think she should have sent her assistant that's still supporting the business? Or do you think that she should have been at least respectful and not publicly be a smiley in the Waffle House and just be a little sensitive to what's going on now? Or do you think her supporters are reaching? Let me know in the comments um, below. Hey, my friend I loves, um, as you can see, you know, these three were together coming back from a trip and that's the latest on Nini and Greg and these ladies. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and end it here my final loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Thank you all for the love and support. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on your notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.